hello, this is the Eye of the Swarm, and, well, you're probably wondering why every single Toa, Baraki, Matoran, and even a few dinosaurs are here for my review. Well, let's just say that we're reviewing the largest figure I have in my collection. Behold, the Legacy Collections. Brachiosaurus, my absolute largest dinosaur I have here, and I mean massive, so big in fact, that, that Tarkadox, who is the tallest of all of them, of my barnacles I've shown currently, if I have his head straight up, barely covers its knees its legs, its front legs, which are the bigger the two for some reason. And overall, this beast is ginormous. A legend upon itself. I think it has pretty good scale. Oh, I wouldn't want to meet this thing in a dark alley. Anyway. Inter... Now on to the uh, now on to the task of articulating such a massive beast. Let's start off with its mouth. Pretty good. I can use this for many eating scenes, and it can lower its neck to a ridiculous amount. See, and it has some pretty impressive le leg kick. Perhaps to you, but you buy this down on the way. Epic, don't you think? Anyway, on to it. Onto its legs. It can do this. It can stand its leg this far. And it cannot do anything back. Though it can do its back leg pretty far. That if you turn it just the right way, and huh, I guess you can fully fix these, fully 60 degrees it. Sorry, power star officers. And yeah, these legs, I can definitely have this thing walk across a swamp if I really stop motion it, but I probably won't just because I'll be outside and it's really hot where I live. Anyway, its tail, well. I kind of wish it can do much, but I think it works pretty well, and overall, yeah, this thing is a titan, even if it's not called by that. So much detail is put on this figure, and I approve it. It may be a bit hard to find it, and it's usually in a big box, but hey, I recommend this figure. Especially if you want to have it accurate to the films. You will be seeing this guy in a few other films, but due to its rarity, you won't see this dinosaur that often. Anyway, that is everything. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Oh yeah, and one last thing. The bit at the, be at the beginning of this video actually serve a purpose. While this is clearly the largest dinosaur I have, and definitely the largest herbivore. There are some much more terrible predators waiting in the wind. Goodbye. Oh yeah, and one last thing. It turns out if you do this, the color from the beginning of its neck goes all the way down, even though this is supposed to be much lighter. It's a bit of a problem, and it kind of looks strange with its neck down like this, but otherwise, yeah.
It's perfectly fine. Now, this is the end. And maybe I'll make a few of my own custom figures in the future. But anyway, goodbye.